Hare Krishna, my name is Janmash Mikrishnadas and along with me is my wife Kalavati Devi Dasi. Kalavati Devi Dasi. Hare Krishna. The question is how I came to Krishna consciousness. <coughs> this is going back uh, maybe early 2000 when I met a devotee. Uh, this was in Marathon um, in December time when a devotee came along and um, tried to give me a Bhagavad Gita. Um, and I was at that point not interested in any religious movements or was not actually not interested in God per se. So uh, this person came and this was in Mira Road station, um, Mumbai, Mira Road. He came and tried to give me this book. This was early 2001, if I remember vaguely. And um, I sort of said, no, I'm not interested. But the train was late. And because my shift was, I was working for, you know, um, the Tata Group, the big um, conglomerate, big corporate, uh, and I was very young, buffed up with a lot of money. Uh, I sort of said, okay, the train is late, let me just do some, in, in Mumbai we use the term time pass with this guy for 15 minutes. And um, I started talking to him, he started talking to me about Krishna, and I said, what is Krishna? I don't believe in him. Um, believe in God, etc. So he was very nice, very courteous. And um, after 15 minutes, um, sort of in, in 10 minutes, he said it is only 50 rupees. And I had probably, probably 1000 rupees in my pocket at that point. I don't remember how much it was. And I sort of said, 50 rupees? Can you negotiate? <laughs> so he said, Prabhuji, 50 rupees is a donation, you know. So I said, no, no, I'll give you 35 rupees or 40 rupees. Can't, can't give you 50 rupees, too much for this. Actually, I was not interested to buy. It was just, you know, arguments that I wanted to have with, you know, because I wanted to spend 15 minutes. The train was late. And suddenly, the train arrived, and I said, oh, th thank God the train has arrived. I want to get rid of this guy now. So I bored into the train. I got in, and the train started moving. All right? And I saw this guy. Even though I did not buy Bhagavad Gita from him at that point, he was still smiling. It's very nice. You know, and very courteous. And I could not forget, from Mira Road to Andheri in Mumbai, it takes around 20 minutes. And those 20 minutes were the toughest 20 minutes of my life. I can still remember those. I kept thinking, what did this guy do wrong? You know, he was asking 50 rupees, this book, Bhagavad Gita, you know, it's a sacred book. I could have had it, kept it in my home, no issues. But, because I just want there's so much of puffed up, so much ego, so much arrogance I had, some of it we still have. <laughs> um, at that point, I just said no for that. And I got down in Andheri station, uh, and then I decided to come back. I thought maybe I should take a train back to Mira Road and meet that guy, give him 50 rupees and get the book back. But, for some reason I thought my shift is there, can't be bothered, you know, I don't believe in this, carry on. So I got down, but I was still keeping, I still kept it in my mind, thinking, oh my god, I, I should have actually bought that, you know, it wasn't a big deal, you know, 50 rupees. So I came out of the Andheri station, and I saw another guy, another Brahmachari, you know, he had a Bhagavad Gita in his hand. I went and rushed, grabbed the book from his hand, and gave 50 rupees, and he was a bit shocked, and I said, oh, what's wrong with this guy? He looked at me and said, oh, you know, what are you after? I said, look, don't worry about it, no questions asked, 50 rupees, give me the book. Got that book kept it, or actually I read it, in probably four months I went really hard, read the whole book, did not actually understand a word. So I closed the book, kept it. For two years it was lying there in my house somewhere. And then when I was going to New Zealand in 2005, so it was for two, three years, and it was just left, nothing, it was untouched. Uh, because I found it really, really hard to understand. At that point, I was not interested, but I, was, I read it. Um, in 2005, and went to Hamilton in New Zealand to study. And um, I had this book. I thought might as well take it along with me. You know, my mother insisted, so I took it. So I kept kept that book in the hostel that I was, where I was living. And then suddenly one day I thought, probably I should open it and try it, give it another go. And um, I opened it, read, started reading. Um, for some of the other reason, I I remember vaguely. I I started with chapter 12. Bhagavad Gita in a Bhakti Yoga chapter. And that was very inspiring because, you know, um, that chapter is so 
uh, you know, Krishna is so, you know, explaining those points which I was going through in my life. You know, at that point I was just confused about everything. Um, and questions been asked, and you know, that whether we should be talking about Krishna as a, and to be interested in bhakti, etc. So, and then, um, again, I never associated with devotee before that. Temple was only a few kilometers away from me, never been there. Probably once, maybe, not interested. So, never actually been in contact with any devotees. But in Hamilton, I read that book, and then I came to, um, I, I met my wife, Kalavati Devidasi, at that point. Um, uh, you know, we were very new, um, you know, trying to understand what's going on in a, in a spiritual and material life. Uh, what was going especially in material life, we were confused, studying a really young, young couple. Um, and we happened to go to one day Hamilton, Hamilton Temple. Yeah. What happened next? <laughs> oh, I was just like, I really f used to feel nice about him because he used to read Bhagavad Gita so sincerely every day. And um, that's what I really liked about him. And he just, you know, one day asked me, uh, would you like to go to the temple because we were just students and we had no money that time. <laughs> and we, there was like some nice prasadam they used to serve every Saturday night. So I immediately said, yes, you know, why not? I will come with you. So, so it was actually really for food. <laughs> 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 and and uh, we, someone actually told one of my friends said that they make special puri and sabji. And we were there in, in New Zealand for six, seven, years, six, seven months. By the time five, yeah. four, five months, and um, you know, we because you know Hamilton is such a small town, we actually haven't tasted. And we were away from our family, family, as family well. as well. So we just wanted to wanted to try something. You know, <laughs> and again, Indian puri sabji was a big thing. So puri, wow, <laughs> can't be better than this. You know, and halwa. And halwa as well. So we we tried. We, we made a point. We went to the temple. And then what happened after that? We went with another friend of ours, um, his name is Mahesh mm. and he just used to eat like, you know, he just <laughs> used to eat so much. He had a beam of quality, he used to eat. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the Prabhuji there, um, his name is Raghav Chaitanya Prabhu and his family used to take really nice care of us and he was just, they were just like family to us and we used to make fun of Mahesh all the time. And one day, uh, Raghav Chaitanya Prabhu, you know, after Gora Aarti, he just said, why, why, why do you guys eat non-veg, you know, you should just leave it. And Mahesh started crying. <laughs> <laughs> and that was a turning point of a life. Because what happened was, until that point, we were coming and eating prasad, free food, but we had our own ways. Actually, what happened was, we used to go to temple on the way, we had a Burger King. So we went to Burger King, <laughs> eat <laughs> whatever, a normal diet, that food, and then go to the temple because temple prasad was 8.30 and we used to need to eat something. So so that was a normal process. But then one day he made he made a really good comment. He said, um, why do you need to eat this? And um, and I, and I sort of we said, okay. So I went to my fiancé that time um, and I said, um, should we stop eating non vegetarian actually, food? Uh, that Prabhuji actually opened Bhagavad Gita and said, these are the things you can offer to Krishna and non veg you can't offer non veg to Krishna so mm, why do you right. eat this? Why do you eat that? Yeah. And he actually explained it so nicely that we felt he genuinely cares for us like mm. he genuinely you know has he has no other motive he genuinely you know cares yeah that's right so that's when we we just we just left eating non veg overnight like we just made a decision, decision and we stopped yeah. eating and the, non -veg. The, the one thing happened at that point what he, we decided not to eat non-veg, but he wanted to check. So he came to a hostel one day, uh, and she was living some uh, the girls' hostel. I was in the boys' hostel, and Mahesh was next to me. You know. So he came along and uh, looked at my my room. There was nothing there, but he went to Mahesh's room, and he opened Mahesh's fridge, and there came all the chicken pies. <laughs> so he took all the pies, and then he said, uh, and he and I was, you know. Then I, at that point, my mother insisted me that I should worship Durga, so I had all the Durga, you know, deities, um, and all the deities you can think of. So he came and grabbed all that, and he said, "Don't worry, I'll give you something." And until that point, he said, "Just worship Bhagavad Gita." So I was doing Arti every day, Bhagavad Gita, Hare Krishna, <laughs> <laughs> and then um, yeah, that's how it started. So that's how we actually came to Hare Krishna. You know, met uh, Raga Chaitanya Prabhu, um, and he inspired us. And then one day. In um, in a whole congregation, he said, "Who wants to have? Who wants to get? Uh, you know, who wants to get mala to chant?" 
and in the crowd of 300 people, for some other reason, I put my hand up. And everyone laughed because I was in a casual, in my shorts, you know, my short pants, you know. Because all the, you know, there was all senior devotees or, you know, everyone laughed at me. I said, okay, that's fine, don't worry. He said, don't laugh, give it to me. That was the beginning of Hare Krishna because he gave it, gave it to us, chanting beats, and next day he gave it to my wife as well. Um, and that's how we started. And he said, don't worry, just chant one round. And then one became two, and two became four, two became, four became eight, eight became 16 and is growing. So it was a simple process and, and the instructions, you know, sort of initial instructions were, were like just keep it very simple, you know, don't don't try to um, leave anything, just add Krishna to your life. Yeah. Don't try to stop what you're doing because initially we were very reluctant. We were thinking to start Krishna consciousness, you stop something, you know. Uh, you know, and he said, don't worry, if you're drinking tea, carry on drinking tea, but chant Krishna's name. And slowly and gradually by chanting Krishna's name, the tea was gone, the onion garlic were gone, you know, there's intoxication, my friends were gone, the people who were drinking or partying a whole night were gone. So slowly and gradually life changed and things changed, but it took time. Mm -hmm. And and I think uh, what I've learned is how to be patient and with determination and right guidance and support, you can, you can actually take Krishna consciousness very seriously. And we're still trying to serve a Guru Maharaj. So in, in 2009, we met a Guru Maharaj by Krishna's mercy and, and we got initiation. Um, and before that, there was also senior devotee, uh, His Grace um, um, Amrish Prabhu from uh, Weekend, um, Auckland. He also trained us very nicely and took care of us. And Mataji's, uh, Mataji, Purnipagya Mataji, 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 Mataji as well. Yeah. So we got trained very nicely there as well, five, six years. Mm -hmm. So this is how our story, this is what the story is. And please do make a comment if you want to. And uh, let us know what you feel. I just, want to, I just want to thank um, Mira Road devotees as, as well yes. to give us this nice opportunity. Um, you know, and yes. yeah, so thank you very much. Thank you very much, Prabhuji. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Take care.